So let's look at our uh, band distraction for our ankle. Now the ankle we've already assessed, uh, or we went through our assessments a little earlier, and range of motion at the ankle or good ankle dorsiflexion is essential for when we look at movements like the squat, when we, uh, when we run, when we walk, all these different pieces, we need to make sure we've got uh, X or a good range of motion at the ankle. So let's look at a little anatomy of the ankle to start. What we've got is, we've got the distal end of the tibia and the fibula. And what they do is, they form like a little mortise or a little garage, or as you say in Canada, a garage. I say garage. So you form a little garage like this, and what you've got is the talus sits inside the garage. It's like a car sitting in the garage. The unique thing about the talus is that it has no muscular attachments. So it's like having a car in the garage in neutral. What happens is when you wear a slightly elevated heel, and as we looked at a little earlier, that can be a work boot for men, a Cuban heel or a dress shoe for men, it, as opposed to a, a high heel for ladies. The, the car that's in neutral can drift out of the garage a little bit. Then what happens, you try and go into a little dorsiflexion, bang, 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 bang. The roof of the car smashes into the roof of the garage. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go, we're gonna tickle the talus back into the garage. That is a technical anatomical terminology. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the band, we're gonna anchor it nice and low. From there, I'm gonna pop my uh, ankle into the band. The direction of pull for this should be back and down a little bit. So I've got this plate just to elevate my foot a little bit so I get the, uh, a good direction of pull. From here, I'm going to take that band forward, or take my ankle forward and pop my foot onto uh, that slightly elevated surface. The back leg is down. And from here, all I'm gonna do is pulse forward. The knee is gonna track with about the second toe or the midline of the foot, and the heel has to stay down. The heel has to stay down. The hands are on the banded knee, and I just pulse in and out of that position. And each time I pulse in and out, I'm just going a little deeper into that position. Just tickling that talus back into the garage or the mortise of the tib and the fibula. Beautiful. And once I've done a few passes, I can take the band out and then always, as we do with any technique, I would reassess and see whether the client had a good response or it might not be the technique that they need.